to the. I'll, I'll be more than happy to tell you. What's, What's your reaction to it? Like, we have a car. He needs Dwayne. Your, your reaction. Uh, Dwayne, your reaction. The judge, the judge said you were bought and paid for, Dwayne. Your hey, reaction. Not. How much we begin with breaking news this Goddamn midday. Dallas thing. Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway, the second highest okay. rated okay. official in the city, is guilty to federal corruption I got and resigned from office. Are you? Everyone, listen, and and I'm not full of myself, but at the end of the day, I'm a, you either want me to skin the chicken or take the feathers off the turkey, whichever one, right. I'm going to give it off, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, you know, we don't, on grime time, we keep it real, raw, and uncut. And at the right. end of the day, raw, you know, I got it. I want you I, to know, be raw and uncut. And let me be very frank and honest with you all. I did get set up. And it's the reason why I got set up. One of the things that I think... When you first struck hell, I, I think it was 2014. Tell us about the bag policy, uh, where you, I think you prompted the stores to charge five cents for the bag. Well, see, or, or to get rid of it. let me, let me just say this. Um, um, you know, the environment is a concern. Okay. Uh, Africa, Japan, New York, China, California, Washington, they all bad because of environmental hazards of plastic and plastic bags right okay so when you when you see that the opportunity came for it was dallas's turn time to either either move forward and stay ahead of the game or get caught into the mess who who the hell want to come to oak cliff and be and put a store or any type of a business around filth right i didn't put the five six on the bag that was the white lady, Sandy Grayson, that put the five cents on the bag. I just wanted to get rid of the bags. Well, they but, said you wanted 10 cents. You you wanted to charge 10 cents in the bag, but then I guess you came in agreement with five cents. You, 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 you hear what you just said? You said, they said. Well, yeah, you know, they said, not here is the biggest lie I ever told. So, 2014, you ran for county commission against John Wiley Price. Is that correct? That was in 2015. 2015, was, right. Yeah, 2015. 15. Yes, I did. Yeah. And you were still city council in District 4 at that time, right? No. You, I was term limited. I was term limited. You got you. 7 to 2015. Mm -hmm. Then I had to set out two years right. to come back in 2017. Okay. So 2015, I chose to run for county commissioner. For the what, made, what made you run? for county commission after John Wiley has held their position down for years, just like anybody running it, they never won. What made you think you can be the change to to dethrone him from his seat? Well, or, what, well, or there's something just to be doing, or did you really feel like you had a no, chance? No, here's the deal. And How I, did it turn out for the voters and everything like that? John beat, he won. It was he about won. last night? Hey. He ain't whooped my butt pretty good. I mean, you know, he won the race. Yeah. I, I understand. I accepted that, and I've gone on to better things. John had a public altercation at a radio station. We surely did. What prompted it? Or what started it? Did you provoke that? No, I didn't. Did I provoke it? Okay. How I, did it? How did it come about? Because it was a video. It went viral across all media platforms at that time. You say it went viral, and it yeah. went all. Well, it was a Negro that was in that, a Negro <laughs> with, with, a, with a telephone. Yeah. With a, yeah. And the, what the Negro did, yeah. Michael Phillips is his name. Yeah. Okay, so he called the name. Yeah. He came up and run into the other room, straight to the telephone, and the Negro downloaded it to Channel 8. And he what? was a cancel. So see, y all, y all, that, that's why my company is called The Other Side. Yeah, The okay? Other Side. Yeah, The Other Side. After everything, right. okay. Well, first of all, I've always had great respect for the commissioner, for John Wiley. Mm -hmm. In fact, and when he first ran back in 1983, I gave him seventeen thousand oh, dollars to wow. win Elsie Fay Higgins. Okay. okay, that's when I had my advertising agency going called Hot Shot Advertising. Hot Shot, okay. Hot Shot Advertising, and okay. at April four. Every commercial that was played for his election, I'm the one through my advertising agency paid for that. So relationships, we're good. 
We good. We good. We good. We good. Jay, let me slow down now. I'm getting a little emotional. I had not squared and squashed in the video, dude. Would I be willing to sit and deal with it? I don't forgot. What? I don't know. One what? thing. One thing I did do. What do you do? Came to visit. He came to visit you. <laughs> See, let me tell you something, man. God, God got me. Right. And these Negroes that set me up, right. they they know it. And and the thing about it is that when they are so envious and jealous of you and right. when you are doing something even more than what they're doing and without them right and you're not trying to shine but but what your what your deeds shine for you right on your behalf that that's too much for that's too much for a man i'm sorry yeah county commissioner for so long and knowing the ins and outs of everything and probably he probably knows something about everybody and everything do you think that was part of the reason he that he didn't that, that he that, that the feds was able to mistake because if they were to take him down, you think he would have more on dirt on some more people, or they would have took a lot of people down if they would take John down? That, that that's why my, my book is called Circles of Deception. Oh, the Circles. Had you had a TV and did, did, were you set up different from the regular animation when you was in there? Well, I set up different. Yeah, did you have like a private personal TV and Matt? Uh, was, was it like? Jail, like the other email, you were like in solitary confinement in that the was, spirit before you was, before they should tell, tell me what you heard first. Before I answer, I mean, they said you were getting home cooked meals and tea, <laughs> <laughs> collard greens. They say, Man, you had it going on, and then they lose spirit. It's just a private area. You don't know, <laughs> you don't know, Tower. Where you, I don't know, you don't know where you I don't know where I was, but yeah. I'm gonna tell you this one. I'll tell you this one thing. Uh, no in fact uh i was in a single place as i'm a i'm a i am a public official gotcha that will never be taken away from me right. okay the, yeah and you can't even they put the little black box on you yeah and you can't even move your arms right this was let me say this jay as we continue to talk about this yeah this was the greatest experience I didn't want it. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't expecting it. What right. it ended up being one of the greatest experiences right. of my lifetime. Right. Because I can't see the other side. So we sitting over here right. with our two guys making right. rules, listening to presentations, right. folks tell us how great things are. But then yeah. when you go to the other it's side, it's not. you get a chance to see the real bullshit that's They'll going go on. inside. I've been up. in there. So I know, I know the bullshit is going. I so, know how it is. So, so, so my point is, my point is this. Great, yeah, here I am, suit and tie, listening to all this presentation. Everything's good at the juvenile home. Everything's good at the jail. They got this, they got that. And then, buddy, when you get in there and you see the filth and you see the neglect and wow. you, see the, you see, oh, man, it is freaking awesome. Right. But here's the deal. Through God's grace, I was blessed to get through it. Through God's grace, I taught class mm -hmm. when I was at Springs. Mm -hmm. I grew 175 inmates that did not have their GEDs, and I named the class. I convinced the, the warden and my counsel mm -hmm. to let me teach a recidivism class because they yeah. always talk about recidivism. Well, hell, they didn't have no recidivism class going on. I convinced them to let me teach a class. I graduated 100 and 75 inmates and the name of my class was the class of no return okay i had them singing class songs writing class poems we had a graduation they received their certificates mm -hmm. and they didn't just receive a little paper that they can throw somewhere i put it in folders right. these people jay has never had an opportunity to finish school and so if they didn't finish school that means they never had the name call and never had a chance to walk across the stage. They but, had an opportunity to receive, get the name call, put this they starch green on. And let me tell you something, I'm still in touch and they're still in touch with me some to this so very day. Let's talk about the bus camera system.
Okay, let's talk about it. You thought you thought it was fitting for Dallas County Schools to use the taxpayer you use the taxpayers' money to uh hire a company to put red light cameras on the buses. What was the purpose of that? Okay. Number one, you know my how passionate I am about kids. Right. Okay. Now sure. kids little kids get off the school bus and first thing they do is run across the street, bam, folks running the red running past the school bus, injuring the injuring the kids and the and the and and the and the crossing guards. I mean this right. is this is history. But now let me just tell you how I got involved with that. When I was mayor in 2011, when I was active here in 2011, yeah. Larry Duncan, mm -hmm. who is president of Dallas County Schools, mm -hmm. makes an appointment with the mayor. Larry Duncan walks into the office. He with makes a, an appointment with the mayor. Who was the mayor at the time? That you, me, okay, me, okay, me, yeah, okay. Yeah, me, come yeah. on. And, and and he he and Dallas County Schools had a proposal for the bus on cameras. Right. Put on buses. Well, hell, it sound good to me. He bought the people to me. And that was what Dallas County Schools were doing. Right. It wasn't the city of Dallas. The right. only thing the city of Dallas had to do was bless the deal as other people had to bless it. What you mean by that? Well, you know, sanction it. Say it's a good idea. You know. Right. Pat, how long did it last? I don't even remember. Shit. Let me let me finish yeah. telling you. You want the other side? I'm yeah, I want the other side. I'm giving it to you. So you gotta let okay, me go skin really get the okay, whole go ahead. get it bits and pieces. Skin the, skin the cat, Doc. Go ahead. Yeah. So here's the deal. The president of Dallas County Schools makes an appointment to come to City Hall. He brings the company. They okay. say they've been doing it and they like it and they're doing it and they're doing something great. This is how it works. Right. Sounds good to me. Right. Sounds good to me. Okay. Bam. 14 city council members. We all voted to say it's a good deal. Y'all go do whatever you do. We, we, don't, we ain't doing nothing. Y'all go do whatever you do. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Any money any and every move that Dallas County has to deal with, they have a board that has to approve it. It right. is, and we, so we're not over there. I, we never went to the board meetings. We don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay, we've already done what we did. But now, one city attorney, one assistant city attorney, he who did not like it that worked for the city of Dallas, when who, other who's the city attorney? I don't, uh, I don't know. It was a assistant city attorney. One okay, guy. Gotcha. Here's the deal. When a city does something, then other cities communicate with the cities, with the staffs, to say, "Well, how does this work? How is it working for you?" Right. Yada, yada, yada. Right. This this one assistant city attorney. These people went, from my understanding, they went to San Antonio because they're okay. trying to get in Dallas as a model. Go here, go here, go, go here. here. Okay. Right. When they went to San Antonio, San Antonio called the city of Dallas, talked to the assistant city attorney. Well, hell, he said it, 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 it really ain't no good program. Right. Well, now, wait a minute. You work for us. That's the first thing. Now, how in the hell are you going to throw us under the bus talking about something that we passed and, and you, an employee, telling another city that it ain't no goddamn good? Some council members who are con who are still on, one in particular, who is still on the Dallas, uh, uh, who's on the Dallas City Council, Omar Navarez. Mm -hmm. Hell, he was on the school board. That means Larry Dunn. Duncan, uh, 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 Omar the board, and some additional board members, they the ones had to sign off on that bullshit. That was them giving their money. They didn't give us no damn money. But you, you see, they all, all got off, didn't they? And they, and uh, they wait a minute. Wait a minute.
I'm the only piece of pepper in the salt shaker that had to go and do some time. So Larry Duncan and none of them never did any time, and right? You look at the news here. Hey, you, he went on, he was the president of the school board. Okay, is he still is, is he still currently no, now? No, no. They, they put him on six months home confinement, six okay. days, and I had fifty eight months. Yeah, so actually, you still got a fifty eight months. Yeah. Uh, come on, you got come fifty eight months. They said you took bribes, well over four hundred and fifty grand. If I did, uh, one hundred fifty. Wait a minute, don't embarrass me like that. Here's I this. Let me, let me, and I'm just saying, the rig, it's a no, 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 record. No, I mean, no, I got this. No, let me tell you this, Jay. Take a look. I'm gonna go read it. No, no, I don't. I don't, no, I don't have to read that okay. bullshit. Okay. Okay. Let me, this. Let me tell you this. <laughs> if it's a hundred and seventy million dollar deal, don't embarrass me and say I'm only get. Four hundred and fifty thousand. So you can read, the, you tear that shit up. So oh, now, you, you said the, you would have got more, bitch. You, know, you would have got more than if, that. If I'm in the deal, yeah. You if in one hundred seventy million, yeah. don't embarrass me. Tell me I got four hundred fifty thousand. Case deal, closed. You can close the case right there. But they said it was four hundred fifty thousand. They funded casino trips. Uh, you win star. Uh, gambling. They said you had custom-made suits, the way they were paying for. Yeah. Uh, and all, all that. Right. So here you, go. here you go. They say. They well, no. This is a federal document. That's Doesn't they, matter. It was part of the document. It is. It's still. They say it's they document, ain't it? Is that, how much money did you get, then, Carolyn? Goddamn thing. What I got, everything I get, I reported. Okay. Everything. All you gotta do, see. I got so let me let me tell you. Yeah, right. Are you okay? We all right. We okay. Your deal. Let me tell you, because this is about Eric Johnson. Let me just tell you this. Their deal, because I was doing so much for our community, our kids, the future, and cleaning up right. and doing what I was doing. I was getting ready to run for mayor. Eric Johnson wouldn't be the mayor now. He, oh, you don't think so? Let me let me let me take you slow. Look, 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 what I'm saying though, Carol, let me ask you, I'm, I'm sort of saying, because you said you didn't get any money. How the hell do they come up with that figure then? Whose figure is it? Tell them what, who's, did, 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 some, did, 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 did the people from the company that you supposedly allegedly did bribes for, did they, did they calculate what they gave you? Or how did they come up with their ballpark figure? Or they just say, hey, this is what it is. They have ways of coming up with anything they want to come up with. If I and if I had four hundred fifty thousand, hell, I I probably wouldn't be at this desk right now, cause I know who how it, to end the money. Who it is. You had to testify. That's public news. That you had to testify, right? I did. This trial, right? I did. In chains, in an orange, in an orange jumpsuit with leg irons and and handcuffs in chains. Yeah, they took you. They brought Beard. you in from chains from big from big the, spring. Yeah, no, yeah, well, where, no, for wherever I was. And you had to yeah. testify to him. I did testify. Why did you testify? Because did you, are you considered a rat? No. Hell no, I ain't no rat. I should be considered a fucking hero. Why is that? Because, because. And we'll leave that, a right? Of, you, a lot of people got saved, or you could you could have killed me, a lot of people? You could have took down a lot of people, let, or what? Let me say this. Let me say this to you. I was the mayor. I didn't have to go, but I chose to go and get this out the way. Don Hill, wait a minute, Don okay. Hill, the former mayor of Pro Tem. Right. He, did, in my opinion, Don didn't do what they said he did. Right. But Don fought the FBI. Got you. He Don could have did three years and right. came. And he finally was thinking like 18 or 17 years? 18 years. Now, so you, you say you use you, you that as an example, or they gave you an ultimatum to say, hey, if you go to trial, if you contest this, we're going to make another example out of you, another black African American. No, no, no. Here's what you, here's what you got to understand one more time. I want to make sure I get this in. Okay. Anybody that's ever been in the closed door of the FBI's office, mm -hmm. And you get a chance to walk out. What does that mean? 
It's either one or two things. What is it? Either they, they let you go to work or they let you go to watch you further. <laughs> or they gonna come back and they gonna come back and say, "Hey, man, we are gonna come back and read. We gonna we gonna come slow back." Down. Slow, slow down, Jay. Slow down, Joe. Joe, you ain't you you, you ain't got it. Let's okay. understand. Okay. Tell you, man. If, okay. If the if you in there with the FBI, and you get a chance to walk in that office, you told yeah. it on somebody. God well, damn. Yeah, yeah, and I, I walked out the office. Yeah. I didn't walk out the goddamn office. I could have walked out. So who walked out of the office? You, 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 you asked yourself who walked out of the office. Everybody's been in there. Whole lot of people walked in there and walked out. They're still out. Oh. <laughs> you got to make it play. Whole, whole lot. No, 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 no. I ain't saying no name. Whole lot no, of I'm your friends, a whole lot of people you know. So but leave me that, but I'm that alone. Those Negroes that set me up. I'm not mad at them. Have I seen some of them? You damn right I've seen them. Did I say something? Did I come grab them by the neck? No. You know why? Because I don't have to. Just seeing me. You knock me down, but I'm getting up. And I'm up now. So right, let me let me ask you when you up, say sit up. Me being up, me being up, when you get knocked down and you get up, that tells you the kind of man and person that you are. When you say sit up. Sit up. What? Okay, what happened with the situation? Okay, because you testified. And guess who else they set up? They set up Carolyn Davis, rest her soul. The same people set her up, set me up, and she gets killed in a car wreck. At the end of the day, uh, I, I, I just try to tell everybody, and I want to make sure y'all know this, because I know this for a fact. Never lie to the FBI. Wait a minute. Well, I'm going to repeat that. Never lie to the elders. They are because I know and because I've been committed and was committed prior to and committed through the process and still right. committed now for change for the better. Now, who else is fighting for them? Let me just put you on. Wait a minute. Hold it. How many elected officials do you know that's as adamant as I am that's out there fighting for these Negroes for a better position, better jobs? And get their asses off the back of the trash trucks that ain't got no goddamn insurance mm -hmm. and they fall off, break their leg, yeah. and, and doing all, all of the single things to try to make things better. Name it. Wait a minute. Name one. You ain't going on nothing I said. You going on something that somebody told you or that you didn't hear. No, no. Well, no, I just, it's probably, it's, 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 it's who rude. Wrote, it's probably who, who wrote it? The, F, the FBI wrote it. I know, no, I'm, uh, you no, going on this. You ain't going on nothing I said. You going on something that somebody told you or that you didn't hear. No, no. Well, no. I just it's probably it's 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 it's, it's, who, it's probably who, who wrote it. The, F, the FBI wrote it. What did they write? Only Ray Naked. What did they write on Kwame What did they write on Marion Barrett? What did they write on Marion Barrett? They write on Marion Barrett? They write on Marion Barrett? What did they write on Marion Barrett? We're all mayors. What did they right. write on Al Lipscomb? What did they write on Don Hill? What did they write on me? What did they write on Fun Fan Troy? All right, of us are all of us were black mayors. Yeah, and they say all y'all was corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? They say y'all was corrupt. What, what, was the white, what was the corrupt white people? Okay, what about the casino trip? That's not true either. I always you know. I, I, look here. We say poker? I'm, I'm a bad poker playing ass Negro. <laughs> <laughs> and was playing poker in prison. You were? Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it did, one thousand. Did you play? You, there was I, it was speculation that you played poker lo and locally here in Dallas. They shared poker houses, yes, huh? I, yes. And they <laughs> and they were like, you had certain poker houses. You, you were like, hey man, don't touch them. Leave this out alone. Here's the deal, Jay. Let me tell you something. Right, these this is my spot. Leave it. It. They good right here. Okay, let me tell you this. Have you ever been to a country club? No, not yet. You have been to one of the white country clubs. If these old men are over there playing, then God damn it, let them play. Let them, okay. From, and look at this. From me standing up against and for the poker house that they wrote against me. I'm, I'm protecting the poker house. Well, go down here on Irving Boulevard. Go mm. out there to all of the big poker houses that they didn't yeah. open up now. Right. For the white people. Right. So if it was so illegal, why is it so legal today? Right. Make sense. So, so they're taking advantage. Of, so I stand up for black people. 
Right. I didn't. I didn't intend to be this animated, but you cranked it up, and I'm gonna give. Hey, it. hey we're smoking maybe fire. This what Brian's trying to show about. We, we keep it raw, real, uncooked. I was in line where Blue is about 400 pounds, and uh, and he's a server, and I walked in and in uh, the first time in in the line to get something to eat, and I asked for some extra something, maybe some extra gravy or something, <laughs> whatever. It was. Yeah. And that Negro will say, nigga, you in prison. Right. Okay. Right in there, and I just looked around, I screwed right on that way. I shit, not know what the hell was going on. <laughs> how long on your 56 months? How many months did you I don't, do? No. I don't okay. count. How did that affect your wife, Barbara Malley Calloway? How did it don't, affect I don't even want to comment on Barbara. So, uh, Barbara, no. wait a minute. I don't want to comment on my right. wife, but I will say this. She's a great person. She stood up and held, held the ship together, and and everything is, is fine. Everything. But she got to know. I don't even know what she was. You got to be able to support her. You got to know she running for uh, Dr. Conway. We discuss politics in my house. You say what? We do not discuss and exchange politics in my house. Why is that? Because the viewpoint's different or why? Very different. <laughs> you, wait a minute. Are you, you married? No, I'm single. Okay, well, when you get married, all viewpoints ain't going to be the same. Right, it ain't going to be Okay, <laughs> so you just leave it where it's at. Well, it's, I have my own viewpoints, and I have enough on my plate to deal with, and respectfully, she has enough on her plate to deal with, and she's out representing the community. She's done a great job. She was chair of transportation. The reason you had that big bridge over 635, that high right. five, that's right. Bob. Yeah, that's you, you see in West Dallas, that big Goodwill, that, that complex, all that's Barbara. Oh, yeah. Proud of, yeah, I know she's been a pretty, she's a beautiful woman. I yeah, know she, she's been, she, she's been, yeah, I don't know how you even got her. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Trying to get her, but you didn't win. You say what happened? You might have been trying to get her, but you couldn't win. Because you can't, I'm it, I'm it, I'm it, I'm it. I'm it. Like, I'm it. Me, I ain't all older. She ought to be my granny. <laughs> but, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. Hey, yeah, hey. But, She's good looking, ain't she? Yeah, she's very good God looking. Damn it. I yes. don't know how she ended up with you. I don't know how you got her, what you did. But they say you was a bad boy back at TCU. You, you, you had your careers and stuff. I don't know. Doctor, you, I'm still bad. You still bad? Yeah, you still a bad boy. Your suits. <laughs> All those years uh, of her running, and I think it was finally be her time now that they 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 didn't bring these stuff down. Do you think everything that you had going with the federal stuff, you think that affected her campaign no. or, or the voters? I don't. What you don't, going to do? I, I don't. I don't personally. I don't think so. I think people look at us individually, okay. But it it, it has it has a little taint. Got you. Okay. But okay. but but uh, here's the deal: people in Dallas, the black people in Dallas, right, continue to vote on popularity. Right. They vote on the issues. They don't vote. To who's going to bring results. You've had elected officials that's been in office for 35 and 40 years. Right, right. That means that if you were to evaluate how Dallas has gone, we've taken a nosedive. Right. At one point, we had movie theaters in South right. Dallas, Oak Cliff, South Oak Cliff, in the Pleasant Grove area. How many movies? We don't even have a movie to get right now, Jay. What What's the change? Okay, Carly Orner replaced you, right? I I made a mistake. How did you make a mistake, Dr. Carly? By putting her in the seat that she's in today. So you put her in and they vote her in? I supported and put her in that office where she is today. She did not, wait a minute. She did not do the job. I realized I made a mistake. And when I make a mistake, I correct it. And I went back. I put her in. And in 2017, I took her out. I, didn't I just tell you I took her out? But she's still holding the seat right now, though, right? Because I, cause, cause, cause I had to leave. You had to leave. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure out because it's my neighborhood, District 4. All right. They got the dick part like Clyde Warren. That's it ain't my really park. It. That's my park. That's on Curly That's Davis. Curly on a what? Curly, Curly. Damn thing. That's my park. 
I put that dick parked there. So it you ain't ready then, cause we tired of going through the construction going over there. I gotta come visit my mom. I gotta go through construction and go around. What's the hold up? And then you got I'm saying when I come down and there's potholes by bull park. Who's uh, who's 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 who's, who's, who's in the city council? Wait a minute, hold it. Wait a minute. Who's your representative? Well goddamn it call her about the potholes. Well, but, but now I'm talking about you because she's a byproduct of you too. You you but older. You, no, 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 no. Hey, now, let me ask something. You motor, man. You did motor, man. <laughs> let me tell you this. I would rather see Bob. I'd rather see your wife to be over here. But, but, in, but call and tell her here. Let I'd, me ask I'd, you this. I'd rather be over here and I'll help support her. You have, you, you, you've had a, 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 a few girlfriends, right? You're not married. I might be. No, I'm, yeah, I'm a Casanova. Okay, here's a Casanova. Check this out. Yeah. Do you want to go back to some of them that you know that you done got rid of? Sometimes I'll be oh. talking about them. I should never live. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep it real with you. <laughs> look, look, no, look, well, no. When you well, get, no. I mean, when you, when you get the divorce, you don't want to go back to your first or second that you, nah, you, probably, you, probably, you, probably, not, you know what I'm saying? Because I, yeah. I refuse to go back to the same place like I seek you. Okay, so one reason that I got set up and they did not want me to be the mayor, because I told you earlier, because Eric wouldn't be the mayor. If they hadn't sent me away, but they sent me away so they could run this end around on everybody and not have me because I'm somebody that they cannot control. They cannot control me. I right. put the you work. You ain't no problem. I, ain't, you ain't you know, no I don't have my head. You got nobody. No you, 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 some of them people got their head stuck so far, the white man ass. They don't know whether it's night or day. I fight white people all day and I have to fight niggas all night. I feel there. And let's use Trump. Okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes yeah. If, if Trump can run for president from jail, okay. Yeah, but he's president. innocent to prove guilty. Uh huh. Trump is innocent to prove guilty. Well, how close do you think he is to guilty? I think he's gonna get off. Okay. Well, that's you. 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 Which. Which. What you got any more? Huh? You got. You got any more of that? Nah, you act yeah, like my mama. Y'all, you must don't like Trump either. My mama don't like Trump. Wait a minute. Do you have <laughs> whatever you over there drinking or smoking? No, nah, I'm, I'm just saying, man, it, it, it's a Hollywood script, Carraway. I mean, I mean, he ain't. He, I mean, she. I mean, he been getting away with a lot of shit. So why you don't think he can get past this? Did you know, money talk, money talk, bullshit, run a marathon. Yeah, okay. Don't put that on me. Don't let the public. I got a motherfucker. So let me tell you what, because it really pissed me off. Let me tell you why it pissed me off. Because I didn't get a goddamn dime. And I'm sick of these niggas taking this bullshit out there that the white folks done told them. They done seen some bullshit that they don't know nothing about. And then they put it on the niggas' backs. They damn sure got some figures, biopark figures out there. They damn sure, I guess they just came up with it. If you say you didn't take them, they got to go with it. The black folks got to understand is, when you have somebody black that's not afraid to speak up on your black asses, yeah. but, 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 but black ass behalf, okay, yeah. and, and, and try to make things better for the goddamn future for the people that's coming up, not these niggas today. These niggas today ain't going to change. Yeah. These niggas today are satisfied. They're satisfied with food stamps. They're satisfied with every goddamn thing, and they're satisfied with that goddamn $1,400 stimulus <laughs> check that they received. Put it best all game. The goddamn dollars. That shit best all game. They gave two of them out, I think. It might have been two rounds. Game. But what is it doing for you today? Not a goddamn thing. Because they went, they done, it ain't doing shit. So what, what, what is, you think? What, wait, wait, so wait, what, look, wait a minute. When we go to the goddamn casino, you think we're going with, 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 with $300? We fucked that kind of money off at the goddamn casino. And, 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 and y'all do it at the poker house. Y'all do it at the Wait a minute, you do it at the crap games, you do it every, let's be real. Yeah, it's gone quickly. And, and, and then here's the deal. Y'all taking it, I'm not going to say y'all, I'm not you, but 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 sometimes. But huh? so here's the deal. You, you, you take your asses in there, get your hair fixed and shit, wear all this bullshit that they're wearing, you get your fingernails done, you get your toes done, can't the black ass women fix some goddamn toes? Why you got to keep letting somebody else? Fix your motherfucking toes. That might not oh, be their skill set. That's what change. That was the Chinese and Asians for that. That's what they mastered it. We, but we, but, but black folks. What I'm saying, black folks really have just some black people aren't gravitating to that. But if you look at if you look at history, that's what. 
What you saying? They make no sense. No, I'm Why, saying you go into every the corner stores and you buy fucking black and miles, some goddamn potato chips, some motherfucking beer and wine and some candy. You ain't a motherfucking tomato in that motherfucker. Ain't a goddamn piece of lettuce in that son of a bitch. Ain't a loaf of bread in that motherfucker. Ain't no goddamn eggs, butter, milk. Or not a goddamn thing. Seven left got some eggs. Seven left got some eggs. All these motherfuckers supposed to be gangsters and supposed to be the money people. Own some motherfucker. Own something. Do something. And then when you own it, goddamn, you can put your family to work. You can put kids to work. You can do all this other bullshit. But instead, no, we go in there and we get them black and miles and we go get some some chips and, and that's all they got for us. Wake up, motherfucker. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Understand that we behind and 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 we so far fucking behind that we ain't gonna catch us is there today. Everything comes with a fight. So you say, what am I proud of? I'm proud of that. I'm proud no, of that. We, 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 we got a new school. We got a new school. Sock got a new school. That's something to be proud that's, of. That's because, that's because of Maxi Johnson. He's a great yeah, trustee. Yeah. Max is super. He's he's doing his job as a trustee. But who else can you name that's doing a freaking job that's making a change within yeah, our community? I mean, I don't have bitch. You know why? Because black people don't trust one another. That's the first thing. Black people too busy backbiting one another. Yeah. Black people busy not trusting each other. Black people so busy trying to be the king of everything instead of being involved with it collectively so that we can grow. We have show me what we got in Oak Cliff, South Dallas, that that's black that we can be proud of. Show it to me. And it, it the fair, what, the fair, that a bitch. <laughs> Cliff ring tonight. They presented me with a sign. They gave you a ring and tired to give me no ring? Well, I, I, whatever. I bitch, I got mine. They gave you a ring? With my name on it. Why? Why did I get it? Somebody you know, did. Why they give it to you? You know, why, you know yeah. why? Because of the appreciation and my hard work that I do for the community and around that whole area. I, and, dude, and, I, right. uh, and I'm a staunch supporter of Dion. Right, right. Like, I don't. I, I I love Dion. I've been right. knowing his kids, and you know, since they was 10, 11 years old, Shadua and Shalo and, and all that. When they yeah. over, there, when y'all over there, um, and I have a lot of nothing but love. Right. I told him the other day. Hey, well, I texted him the other day. That I'm going to uh, come up to Colorado one yeah. of the games. You gave them a ring. Uh, I mean, yeah, the district did. Now. So, yeah, uh, you deserve it, Fairway. I like I say you're a pillar of you've been don't don't don't, don't wait a minute and don't hate because you know what I do? No I'm proud. You know what? I was gonna wear it tonight. I said but I wasn't gonna put it on tonight. Uh here's the deal. I wear it proud and I show the people. I take it off and let people see that the sock bears are back to back. Now, yeah. Cole, I, I'm looking for another ring because I want three goddamn bears on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that the Carraway, one question we had too was uh they named they named the state the track is John Kincaid after Jakari Richardson. Okay, I'm ready. How do you feel about it? first say this? Shakari Richardson is a well deserving young lady that ran and she has the world record at this particular point and she's she's a great athlete. However, you cannot afford to overlook the man with the gold shoes that graduated from South Oak Cliff, that's Michael Johnson. Yeah. But you cannot Skyline. miss. He graduated from Skyline. 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 And you can, cannot miss Christy Gaines, who graduated from South Oak Cliff, and she's an Olympian. Right. Now, now, so, so, so you can't graduate these people. You can't graduate Shikari, you should not, in front of the two Olympians that we have in our city. I said that. Christy Gaines graduated from South Oak Cliff. She's an Olympian. Michael Johnson graduated from Skyline. Right. He's an Olympian. But and I think they get caught up in that world stuff when they give the title. But you gotta understand, I she just was she just was banned for smoking I'm weed or something about, like that. And, I'm not, I'm not yeah, I ain't worried about that. I'm not worried about that either. What she did, 
I'm only going to talk about where she is and she what she accomplished so far. Not everybody got a pass. Everybody. Yeah, so sure. that's it. So, so you ever smoke marijuana? We, we, we're not going to talk about homosexuality because that's a serious right. subject. Because she, but she, but she, 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 she we're not going, we're not going to talk about homosexuality because they put her on a track. But do you do know her sexual preference orientation? I'm not just making it plain, man. She right. like what I like. So I mean, right. But but, but it's a slippery slope when you talk about homosexuality and transgender gays. What do you feel, Coach? What do you think, to be? Uh, repeat the question, man. <laughs> what do you feel about the guy Rich may have been on the track? Uh, don't worry about this, though. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know the procedures on on on, on how, how stuff is done in, in in Dallas as far as that goes. I mean, like like he just said. I mean, you had the world record holder, you know, Michael Johnson. When you think of track in Dallas, I mean, he's probably the most prominent figure to ever come out of Dallas running track. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, at, at the professional level. Right. So I mean, nobody has exceeded his accolades to this point right. so right it's kind of like how he phrased it was good it was like you put the graduating class of 2020 over the graduating class of 1986 right <laughs> and you know i mean but i don't know how that stuff get named i mean well you know uh, it started with you know it started with the school district right you know no, I, think it, I think it started with, with, with one of them trustee people right. Yeah, the whoever on that district. I mean, and you got to realize, Matthew, too, that. Because Matthew Johnson trustee, didn't have nothing to do with that. He didn't have nothing to do with that. No, nah, I mean, he probably didn't. Nuh -uh. But what I'm saying, you got to realize them trustees got to do stuff to try to make sure they secure their votes for the next election. Right, but right, right. But what I want to know is why Biostory still look like Biostory look. Like, like when we going to get Biostory fixed well, up? Let me, tell you, let me tell you what I gave you tonight. I gave you something that no one else has ever gotten out of me. I gave you everything. Everything, yeah. I, I gave you everything that we did really? cover. And, and you I'm very passionate about stuff. Right. But I I gave you stuff that I've never given nobody. Okay. And right. Folks need and you, and you, that I and you know why I appreciate you for that because we connect to the people. You got people come and they engage, they look and they can go back and look and they can say what they want to say. And it's our people, our community, a lot of black, you know, a lot of different people from our walks, you know what I'm saying? So I really respect you for coming. I've been wanting to get you on, but I said, man, I just really don't know how to ask how to come on. Cause I mean, I know you, you're a public figure, you're prominent, uh, you're going through your stuff. And uh, I really appreciate you coming on. I'm going to have to do something for you. I don't know, take you to dinner or something.